As we come to a time of prayer, I invite you, if you will, to take a look at the prayer concerns that are listed there in the bulletin. In addition to those, I want to mention that we received word that a uh, former pastor of we were a Methodist church, Reverend Lay, who was pastor here uh, 1961 through 67, passed away this past week on April the 29th. The uh, arrangements have not been uh, announced at this time, but the memorials, if you're interested, would go to Black Mountain United Methodist Church and the building fund. That's the request of the family. So I want you to be aware of that. Please continue to keep in your prayers for Ralph Pond and uh, Joe Joyner and their families. Also, we want to uh, welcome Kenny Brown home today. Uh, as he uh, is here for a few days, it's good to have Kenny with us. And as he anticipates being um, on to other things in, in the weeks ahead, we certainly want to lift him up. As well as we receive word that uh, Seth Redmond has been deployed, and we want to continue to keep all of our men and women in service in our prayers. Uh, not only today, but in all the days ahead. May we go to God in this time of prayer. Dear Shepherd God, we come to you in this time of quiet gathering. Ever thankful that you lovingly do lead us beside still waters. But we also aware that sometimes when our lives are in such turmoil and confusion, the waters seem far from still. And yet you continue to come to us, to guide us, to support us, to love us. So we come this morning needing to be restored and reminded. As all around us, creation is proclaiming new life. Many of us here today need that experience of new life again. We need to know once more that even as we have turned away from you at times and disappointed you at times and disobeyed you at times, that you have always remained faithful to us, longing to forgive and to bring grace. During this time of prayer, remind us of how much you love us and how you long to hear your children pray. Remind us that there is nothing too large or too small to talk to you about because you are here to help us. <laughs> So lead us, loving God, in this time of prayer, in this time of prayer. As we lift up prayers for our world, for our nation, as we lift up prayers for those people who are in need of compassion and understanding, as we lift up prayers for those who are seeking and doubting, as we lift up prayers for those who are hurting and broken today. And we know as we pray to you that as that wonderful, loving shepherd that you are, you long to remind us that we are not alone and that you are here to guide us and to love us. So hear us in these moments of silence as we pray. Dear God, may your very spirit encourage us to pray. Perhaps in the moments that we feel the most distant from you are the times we meet to call out to you. We know that the issues that we face in our world often do not lend themselves to simple solutions. But we ask that your rod and staff may comfort us with the promises of your love and your presence in all the times of our lives. And as we pass through our personal personal valleys, may we be led by your light and refreshed by the promise that you shepherd us still. May we trust you. May we love you. May we follow you. Dear Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs> 